Rabbit Hole is about a couple played by Nicole Kidman and Aaron Eckhart who have lost a child eight months before and they're just at the point where they're trying to figure out how to live, how to stay together, how to move on. How old's your son? This is your son's room, I assume. Um, well, it, it was. It was his room. Well, but he died. My son died. Uh, there was a car right up front. They each have unexpected encounters with people who help them. It's a beautiful, uh, unexpected yet strangely natural situation that the person who caused the mother's loss turns out to be the uh, cure for it, or the beginning of healing that has elements of lovers and elements of mother and child, of course, a replacement for, his, for her child. And uh, also a, a kind of, she's almost betraying her, her husband to be with him. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful relationship and it's definitely the heart of the film for me. You know, if space is infinite, then there are tons of yous out there and there's tons of me's. I like that thought. Somewhere out there I'm having a good time. Rabbit Hole is the, uh, the name of the comic book that the, the teenager makes, and he uses it, you know, it's, a, it's from Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland, and he says, if the universe is infinite, then everything is possible. If it actually is infinite, eventually, you know, a hundred monkeys will type the Bible. Eventually, there's another interview like this, but I say one different word. But to him, and ultimately to Nicole's character, this is true. And that is the thing that comforts her to think that, oh, there's someone out there who's... Somewhere out there, I'm having a good time. Just the possibility of that is comforting. Does it ever go away? No. At some point, it becomes bearable. Rabbit Hole is a drama, but uh, no story is devoid of humor <laughs> because life, you know, any given hour of our life is not no one genre, you know. <laughs> um, and certainly the humor in this is very important, as it is in life, especially when dealing with intense events, you know, one of our greatest human gifts is, is levity and, and allowing uh, the possibility of taking emotion and turning it into a, a different form that can, can dissipate the intensity and that's what humor does. You know, when she's in the group therapy and challenging these people and uh, who have used their therapy like a kind of uh, drug, you know, it's funny to me. God had to take her. He needed another angel. He needed another angel. Why didn't he just make one? Another angel. I mean, he's God after all. Why didn't he just make another angel? Hmm? Just... Just putting it out there. I've only directed two films, but, you know, the 20 years before that I was directing other people's plays, acting in other people's plays, acting in my own plays, and 
I've certainly participated in stories that are similar to Rabbit Hole as an actor. So it didn't feel unusual to work on someone else's story. But that was just something that I do. And my favorite directors uh, are those that uh, adapt to the script and adapt to the circumstances in which they're shooting. Um, I think the ones I'm less interested in just stamp the story with their own style. You know, it's like, this is what I do, and I will now make that into my thing. I'm taking it all down to goodwill, but, um, but now I'm glad that I didn't, because look at these shirts. Look at them in these sweaters. I don't know, Beck. I mean, they're in baby clothes for so long. It would probably be a while before you have even been into that stuff. Oh, no, it comes up very quickly. You'll see. You're going to be happy that I saved it. Is he living here? He has to. His girlfriend kicked him out. Ex-girlfriend. She knows what I meant. You see this one? That's cute. Look at that. What if it's a girl? Well, then... I don't know, I'll give it to someone else, but you're gonna, you're gonna thank me. I mean, I want a girl. I want it to be healthy, obviously, but I really hope it's a girl. Me too. You want some coffee cake? I've got some coffee cake for us. I'm actually gonna take off because I promised Howie that I'd pick up some dinner. Mmm, looks good, though. I like people who are trying, trying to be happy, you know, and it's really not so much about the loss itself, but it's kind of a set of tools for how to live knowing that that life is limited, you know. And uh, it's a very moving film for me to make because of the loss in my own life and it, it felt like a necessary step in my own life to kind of revisit some feelings about losing my brother and losing my lover and uh, how do you move on when these types of things happen as we as they do to all of us.